finally, forget Dave. Did you hear about Don? Everyone got so caught up in David Letterman calling it quits that I'm still surprised more haven't made a big deal out of Don Imus calling it. Well, half quits. Maybe that's why. Because Don Imus is not leaving the business, just Fox business. His tens of millions of fans will still be able to hear him. After tomorrow, they just won't be able to see him. So the original shock jock behind one of the most popular radio programs in American history will still be shocking. And countless broadcasters will still no doubt be copying and not a one of them remotely crediting. The only difference is Don Imus will be shocking them all from Texas. Not for some new gig, but for Don and his poor, long-suffering wife, Deidre, something even bigger. Their son, Wyatt Imus, who's become something of a high school rodeo star and for whom Don and Deidre are now fully devoting their lives to making an even bigger rodeo star. Not one of the best, the best. I don't doubt they'll succeed, nor will I second-guess the wonderful sacrifice they are happily making for this remarkable teenager. Wyatt deserves it. But back to me, because I don't like it. You see, my friends, I am not taking this well. Full disclosure here, I'm an unabashed Imus groupie, I admit it, which Imus himself finds disgusting, his words. How's that for a friend? No matter, I've been a fan since I was a kid, and I first caught the outlandish things this guy was doing on radio long before anyone else. By the way, my Italian dad was too. My Irishman, not so much. But back to me. Because I miss now leaving Fox Business is really about what this is doing to me. It's changing my, well, my whole morning routine. I know I can still hear Don and all the civil like snakes and multiple personalities that are Rob Bartlett or Tony Powell or Lou Rafino or Warner Wolf or Bernard McGurk. But you know what? I can't see him. I won't be able to see any of them. Just like I won't be able to catch the incredulous reaction Don's very awkward questions get from guests who are invariably jarred and more often than not, remarkably revealing when they are. That's what made and makes Don Imus the star. I think he is. Not his biting humor, but those biting interviews, the things he asks. He stops folks in their tracks because he catches their every word. That's why I'm going to miss all the fun he provided at Fox Business. Yep, even when he was giving us, and especially me, the business. My friends, <laughs> it's the right reverend Dr. Billy Sohaga. <laughs> <laughs> Here with Brother Kabuto. <laughs> I can't go on forever with 66 in size. <laughs> Trying to eat a banana. And what's the problem there? It's and just... we're all having to watch. Oh, this is, an, this is oh every morning. God. Rob Bartlett is uh, appearing this morning as Deidre Imus. You sit there with that <laughs> stupid cowboy hat on and that, that army jacket like you're in the service and you try and try and tell people that what you know everything. It's stupid. Please. When you say stuff about people and then run into them, how does that go? I never run into them. Oh, you don't? I'm never invited to anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're the governor of New Jersey. If you're not pulling down a lot of money, then you're not. You're not well, in, that's the problem. Not in the great tradition breaking, of the state. Breaking then. tradition, Don. <laughs> breaking tradition and not taking those envelopes of cash. I don't go around and tell, uh, pretend to people that we know you really well or that we hang out with you, that kind of thing. You know me pretty well, Don. This Affordable Care Act is going to be uh, uh, repealed. I think it may collapse. What are you doing? Are you drinking something? I was drinking a little coffee. I apologize for that. No, that's okay. I just wondered what you were doing. I will not. I was having a sip of my... Uh, what is this, the Hanoi Hilton? He can't take a sip of coffee? <laughs> no, I just wondered what he was doing. It sounded like he... I hope you weren't having a pop already this morning. What are you going to do? Torture me? Really? <laughs> What's his name? I can't tell you. Okay. Um, it sounds like a drug transaction here. The way we're whispering. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Maybe see Chris Kyle. Sometimes I give people a hard time, you know. You know what I decided I was going to do with you? Not give you a hard time. Yeah. Good call, I man. <laughs> you behave yourself, all right? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -huh. Does somebody say to you, you know, don't wear a coat and tie when you go on these shows? When you're not running for anything and you're going to be on a radio show with a cowboy, 
I didn't expect you to have a velvet jacket and a black tie on. I mean, I, I, well, no, I it's corduroy. You're... How's your bout with cancer, man? How's that? How's that fight going? It's going well. I had an accident this morning, though. What happened? I've taken a shower and I stepped on my. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're an old hat, but. For me, I, I, I want focus. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, I can't focus. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Everybody, we're doing a show. It's called the Don Ima Show. <laughs> Son of yeah. a bitch. <laughs> we're welcome, to, welcome to the show, Tom. Exactly. Tom hasn't had his coffee yet. <laughs> oh, no, Don, that's the... Years. Come on. Oh, no, Don, that's the... <laughs> no, that's the... <laughs> behind the scenes. Are you behind kidding the... me? <laughs> <laughs> it's 412 degrees. Look at him. Oh, come on. What's the matter with him? Hold him. Those oh, are bedrooms. You see that? They are? No. Young boots. Huh? Oh, the boots no, back what? On. Those are terrible. This is literally turning into oh. a nursing home. My foot's killing me. What, what am I supposed to wear? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? The elephant man. The elephant man, huh? I don't want you to know that's why I wear this sack <laughs> over my head. <laughs> they are the best sports cats in the country. Are you aware of that? Yeah, yeah, I never right. thought of it. I mean, I don't just yeah. say that like I. Oh, no, whoa. It's whoa, like an no, update whoa. because, frankly, I'm not that fond of you personally, but. <laughs> it's Connell. It's Connell. It's Connell. Connell. Well, how would I know that? I mean, well, what's wrong with Colin? Whose idea is it when Connell. What's the guy's name? Connell. 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 Who's not great? Colin. Connell. Well, it's a very difficult. Will you screw everyone's name up? Looks <laughs> <laughs> like Woody from Torch Story. <laughs> Who? Oh. Clint Eastwood. You got a problem with that? You feel lucky, punk? Get him another jelly donut. Oh, so that's lovely. You're very dismissive and demeaning. <laughs> well, no, I'm not dismissive. You are. I'm not buying your nonsense. I'm just a little hurt. Wear a helmet. Okay. If you can find if one. You, can find one. Hey. you are such an idiot. How does that sound, Fatso? <laughs> Cavuto should get hit by lightning while he is at Denny's all-you-can-eat bacon bar. <laughs> or someone attempts to show a movie on his forehead. <laughs> or should he be mistaken as Bob's big boy statue and the manager tries to staple the daily specials to his chest? <laughs> then I am going to blame some of the people out there in New Mexico. But that aside, I swear on the souls of my grandchildren, I will not be the one to break the peace we've made here today. I am going to murder Neil Cavuto. Oh, my God. I'm going to sneak up on him. Wasn't it like in the Godfather movie, the guy's in the bar and he walk out behind him with the piano wire? That's what we're going to do to Cavuto. And Don Imus will honor the agreement to never again be mean to Don Cavuto or Don Deedle, or else he will wake up and find the head of one of his $50,000 calf roping horses in his bed. Although, as the sheets will most likely already be wet, he might not notice for a while. <laughs> oh, I'm here You're trying so to raise money. Little All children. I, I asked him yes, one question. Really unbelievable. What color dress do you think? You know what I just did? I shut our mic off. You know why? why? Because I because I can. Because you can't at home. Yeah, because if I yeah, and that's, here's what I want to do. I want to install a mic on you at home. So that I can just click. <laughs> now what were you saying, honey? You're unbelievable. You are very good. Yes, you're I very funny and you're very, very no. perceptive. Are you on a roof or something? Yes, I am. Jump off of it. <laughs> I only say things to try to get you to have to dump the call. That's it. Hello, I'd like the uh, fettuccine with tomato and fresh basil. <laughs> and then I want to start with two. Is this Pomola? Hello? Well, I don't know what, uh, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't believe the second. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, Dagan. Yeah. And the family's all at the beach. Yeah, I know. With the big family family reunion. Uh-huh. And I'm wondering why you are not there. I wasn't invited. Oh. Uh, Dagan, what do you have? Uh, did you say hi to your sister? Yes. I said hello. You don't but I, I won't touch her because you don't know where she's been. You two don't seem like you're all that friendly. We're not that close. All right. She's jealous of me. Our old friend Brian Wilson. Morning, Brian. Morning, OP. I'm Brian Wilson. How are you? I'm fine. The Santa Ana winds will level a Malibu beach house like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was up till um, 1 o'clock in the morning last night. Yeah, what a great must job, have, Neil. Must have stayed in town, huh? Is it your place? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you I wonder what that big lump was. <laughs> yeah, which room? <laughs> which room? <laughs> uh, Big in there? Yeah, sorry. Uh, what happened to her? Catching up. Um, <laughs> oh what? Oh my God. Okay. Obituaries. No Don Imus. Bigfoot.
Tom? What, uh, oh, what button am I supposed to push? <laughs> oh, what? no. Oh, oh you man. fat bastard. What, uh, what are you doing? Get what? out of there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got it. I got it. <laughs> no, that's not him. Thank you very much for... This is it. You were on for 12 minutes. That's, uh... Twelve minutes time. of my life, I'm never getting back. Well, nor is the audience. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's so I must in the morning. You know, this really does sound like an Ovid package, doesn't it? Not at all. That's why I feel compelled to remind you one of the funniest and most engaging personalities I have ever known is alive and well at 74. Think about it. Born at a time this whole world was going to war. And pretty much, he's been fighting ever since. Don Imus. Not dead yet. About the only good news I can find in any of this. For now.